what up you guys welcome back to my channel thank you for being here thank you to all the returning subscribers and if you're new here you're more than welcome to stay and check your vibe all right so i was just outside walking my dog and i just had a moment where i was like i need to sit down and pull some cards so we're gonna see what the message is we're gonna see what energy what the message needs to be i feel like someone i'm hearing urgent so this might be an urgent message for someone so we're gonna see what the cards say spirit what is the message that you want me to relay all right like share and subscribe you guys if you're not already all right let's see the knight of coins five of wands in reverse let's see The Hierophant in reverse. I'm hearing it's urgent that you let go. Let's see. There's something holding you back here. The Eight of Wands. Okay, something is urgent here with the Knight of Coins and the Eight of Wands. Five of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so I'm hearing to get out of your head. There's some conflict that you are facing or that you are internally facing right now. I think you're coming to like gripes with your perfectionism is what I'm getting. You could be a Virgo or could have Virgo heavy in your chart. Your Gemini could be in Virgo or an air sign here. So with the nine of coins here in this picture, this guy is like on this cart and he's trying to get away. So with fives mean significant change. So there, sh there could be a change in your stability. I'm also getting mental stability, but I'm also seeing that you may need to change something, all right? Let me get some more information. Spirit, clarify the five of wands here. Clarify the five of wands. You guys, I didn't even take off my jacket. That's how, like, fast I was like, let me, <laughs> let me go, like, do what I got to do. Let me be obedient, okay? <laughs> all right, so with the... Clarify the the Hierophant and Reverse Spirit. This is super interesting. I'm hearing the time has come. The Magician in Reverse. Okay, so your perfectionism is keeping you from something. Whoever I'm speaking to, you know a lot. And you know, you know what to do. I'm getting, I'm speaking to someone who knows what to do. You're someone that's very well prepped. I'm getting like, even the way you dress, the way you wear your hair, like a clean aesthetic. I'm seeing a guy who only wears like maybe all black or like you wear neutrals. You don't like the color outside of the lines much, but your something in your career, something in your life, even your finances, something is depending on you getting out of your own way. And it is urgent that you get out of your own way fast here. All right. Something about a, enough conflict in your head. The conflict that's in your head is creating the conflict that's physic that's in your physical reality. Whether you're losing something, whether you're stagnant with money, whether you're stagnant with love. Here. Okay, so I'm hearing to get into your body. And this is interesting because I've been picking up this energy lately about people needing to be more in their bodies when they are. Um, so because something about like, because if you know anything about Virgos or air signs, like very good with communication and very intellectual, very in their head. You could also be a Sagittarius here, but it's something about you getting out of your head and into your body, into your emotions to feel what you're doing. Because I feel like you may be going the wrong way, like you're with your new start here with Kronk. Like even with the Emperor's New Groove, like the character Kronk, you know how like some people think that he's ditzy or he's foolish or he likes to try new things without thinking. So it's like you could be going in the opposite direction of your new beginning. But I'm getting this is self-imposed with the Six of Wands in reverse, lacking in confidence here, like lacking in feeling worthy of something, okay? So where does this stem from? Empress, ooh, fear. Okay, so someone has a fear of being great, I'm getting. And that's like, and that would seem kind of like, you know, some people might be like, oh, well, that's kind of like impossible where someone could have a fear of like being great or being more than, someone has a fear here of being great or being recognized, fear of being seen, okay? So you're in your own way. There's something that you do or know how to do extremely well that can bring you wealth here with a two of coins, can bring you some stability, can bring you some newness, can move the needle in your life. Because I'm getting right now, you're sitting in a stagnant old store 
story, okay? So you're someone who's sitting in a, the stagnant old story and you will not get into your body to feel where it is that you need to move your two in your head, okay? So Spirit is saying it's affecting your manifestations here with the Magician in the reverse, like... Yeah, with the Knight of Cups. So yeah, you move barely on emotions here. You're meant to be the Queen of Coins and, the, and that brings you into the Empress because you already have the mental capacity. You already have that intellectualism to like know what you want to do, but you need to balance it with the body. So you need to bring the body, bring the emotions into balance here. And you only do it slightly or in a superficial way. It's not genuine is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, this is urgent. There's an opportunity coming up for you here that you could just miss. Or you can miss the boat by overthinking something about you feeling like you have to be perfect. You have to have your hair done. Have to have makeup on to be in front of the camera. Have to have, like, there's something here about, like, you being in your, the cause or being in your own way. Yeah. You could also be in your own way of true love. But also, I'm also getting, like, true love as in happiness self-acceptance as in love like you're in your own way like one minute you're like okay like I'm sure I can do it and you portray a confidence but it comes more off of like an arrogant or like someone who's just very in their head or tries to be right all the time and it's very like sneaky and manipulative so so I feel like you don't even realize this you don't realize this and spirit is calling this to your attention because I feel like something is getting ready to come in that is for you and for you to take. But you're not moving in that direction, all right? So yeah, with the chariot, you got to get moving here. You could be a water sign. A water sign that's not using their emotions that turned off. I'm hearing, okay, so if you ever seen Vampire Diaries, I know I like to pull from TV shows and movies a lot and stuff like that. Whatever, I'm a, I'm a kid at heart, you guys. <laughs> but in Vampire Diaries... They have this thing where <clears throat> the vampires, like they call it, turning off their humanity. Like they stop feeling their emotions. They stop caring. They're more like ego based as like, what can I get like more assertive out in the world and not thinking about anybody else. So it's like, that's the way that you're moving. But it's like at a detriment to yourself because you're still not getting the results that you want out here. Yeah. With the six of swords, there's a lot of sixes out here. I think we have all the sixes and sixes being like more Virgo energy, more like self energy, more perfectionism, more intellectualism, more like, because Virgos have a lot of like stomach pains or stomach issues as well. So not being in tune to like your gut feeling. So there's a lack of like feminine energy here. Ten of Swords. All right, so it's over for you always trying to intellectualize things, all right? So you need to get out of your way when it comes to always having to have an answer for something. You're someone that has to always have an answer as to why something is the way it is or what have you. But with the Two of Cups here, yeah, you need to like give that flow, that give and take. So you need to come more into balance with yourself and utilizing your emotions. And I also feel that it will help you in your relationships as well because there's something here about your relationships not feeling fulfilled, but that's because you're not giving of yourself or giving to the relationship emotionally. This is very, like, interesting. So tell me about what's coming in here. Why is this so urgent? Why is this urgent? Seven of Swords here. There's a contract or something. Something you're going to miss or something that you're going, that's going to be overlooked or something something that your ego is going to get in the way of if you do not change this. This could also be about a relationship or offer from a relationship that someone wants to give you, but you're kind of like, you're, you're, you're too focused on the material or too focused on the outcome and not focused on being in the moment here. Yeah, the two of wands, like you're battling yourself. There's different sides of yourself that you're battling here. Like you could be battling like your intellect, but also battling the feeling of that, you know, you want to be softer, more loving, more compassionate, more caring, more letting people in. Like, you know, that's what you want, but it's like you're, you won't allow yourself to do it out of fear, out of fear. Like there's some fear here, fear of being hurt, fear of being made a fool out of. Page of Cups energy. Hmm. This could be like a lot of like childhood issues like neglect or like an anxious avoidant or like a 
like someone that's very like you learn how to be detached but this next level like this flow there's a flow that you're blocking like and it's coming in the form of like your career or your your money your friendships like it's it's like your life in general yeah but the six of the uh excuse me the four of wands here yeah your relationships your family your home life it's like you like to go in and try to like make everything happen like you're someone who has to have a plan has to have an answer has to if nobody knows what they're doing you you have to go in there and dictate it you can't just allow okay okay spirit is there anything else that we need to know here i'm hearing two days three of swords could be heartbroken because of the four of swords here there might be somebody else that's going out for the same thing as you or could get an inkling or something something about you need to get a head start on this or get moving on this because i think there's someone if you're in going out for like a job role or like a something it could be like in a social circle or something like that this could even be like business prospects there's someone else that may have a similar like idea or like someone that that is that has that emotion that has that they may not have a good enough product as you or something like that but they are capable of having the type of emotional intelligence that you're currently lacking right now because you're in your own way all right so it's, i'm hearing it's better to not always have to have an answer or know everything Sometimes it's better to feel it, yeah. Queen of Swords here. The one thing about a queen, though, a queen of swords is a queen of swords knows when to talk and when to use her body language or her emotions or her femininity. Like, and it can come across a little manipulative, but at the same time, it's like a woman, like that she can get what she wants by using, knowing what words to say, what to say, when to say it. It's not always having to be literal and she's not always stern she's very tactful it's about being tactful or something like that yeah but you got to get out of your own way here the world card page of coins justice and the ace of coins in reverse let me get one more spirit and then we're gonna wrap it up Oops. three of wands in reverse yeah, it's about your communication with the Eight of Swords on the bottom. A lot of self-deception, a lot of you backing your own self into the corner. A lot of this is your own doing here, but I'm feeling like the world wants to move forward for you. Like there is a new start here, especially in finances, getting your finances back right. But you have to balance yourself with the Justice card. Scorpio energy, like transforming. You have to transform this. Use your alchemy. This You know how to do this. I feel like I'm talking to somebody that knows how to do this already. But with the Ace of Coins in reverse, if you don't, you're going to be stagnant here. And it's all because of your communication. But with the Three of Wands here in reverse, like I'm hopeful for your communication to change soon. So let's get a closing out card here for you. Yeah, the devil card right here and nurturing yourself. You might want to address that wound, where that wound stems from, where this perfectionism stems from. Because if you can pay attention to it, you'll know, you'll know, you'll exactly know like how to, you know, what am I trying to say? You'll know like when that wound starts to creep back in, like how to address it, okay? Let's see, let me get two more spirit. Channel, animal, animal energy, one more. And initiation, yeah. Witch card with the metaverse. Okay, there's so many opportunities here. You can't see that. There's so many opportunities waiting for you to take hold. All right if you have animals your animals will help you during during this time sitting with your animals or being out in nature this is giving like disney pr princess energy like being able to be surrounded being able to exist and coexist without needing to have a answer 
all right but you are being initiated into this next level and i'm hearing growing pains that this will be a little bit of growing pains but it's imperative that you get out of your own way or work on getting out of your own way soon so you can reap whatever is already yours is what i'm hearing but the only way that you can sabotage this is if you sabotage yourself like this is this will be self-sabotage but spirit is saying you getting out of your own way will make this transition easier and you won't have to work so hard okay so i'm gonna leave it there you guys this message was really really good but i feel like somebody needs to have get this message quickly so get down in the comments and let me know who you are if this resonated for you and everything you want to know is down in the description box you guys don't forget to follow me on tiktok i give the sauce over there daily all right and i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.